Welcome to the most ambitious video I've ever made on YouTube. Get ready for an hour and a half zombies extravaganza with every Treyarch Zombies map ever released chronologically from World at War, Black Ops 1, 2, 3, and 4, with the sole goal of achieving the highest round on every map with just the starting pistol. Now, as you can imagine, that took me a very long time. So all I'll ask you to do is to sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Now, I realize this is an hour and a half long video, so if you can't watch the whole thing, I encourage you to watch it one game at a time and come back to the video later. Now, this very very original video idea it took me three weeks to create so if you enjoy at any point hit subscribe so you can get more wacky videos like this in your sub box and while you're down there if you click the like button i heard it turns blue pretty darn cool i know big up g fuel for sponsoring the video if you want to cop some there's a link below but let's do this so here we begin ladies and gentlemen i hope you are ready i also hope that you're comfy you got a nice little drink a snack you're treating yourself in 2020 so lay down some groundwork starting pistol only i'm only using this i'm not buying any wool weapons. I'm also not going to use the knife. I feel that could be a little cheap. All I'm using is what I start with. So that's the coal and that's my two grenades. And we are genuinely going to see how far we can get on every single map. This is going to be wild. I need to make sure every shot counts. I just need to be letting the zombies in. I need to be getting those elusive drops and especially for maps that don't have pack-a-punch this is going to be real rough not like i was ever going to get pack-a-punched pistols anyway but i hope you're having a fantastic day i hope that you've had some good food thus far and if not i hope you got it ready for this video that's one round down one round down and we're already over half of our ammo gone i'm actually very excited to go and do this challenge because i just feel like we're going to revisit a ton of maps which i've not played in a hot minute and it's just a different style of play that i'm not really used to and even though this is like 12 years old now this is still just as spooky as it was back in the day so imagine you boot up world at war you finish that campaign in 2008 and then you can have a time machine to see how zombies change it's how different it it became it's it's kind of crazy the journey we've been on right really this is a maths game now it's a maths game of precision yeah that did not that did not work whatsoever. Okay, we've got basically every zombie now, apart from that last one. Oh my god, this is actually very tight. Can we actually get out of here, please? That'd be nice. There we go. You'd love to see it. All right, cook the nade. Give us a drop. Come on. Okay, and we can't even use a knife to kill this creepy crawler. If there's any zombies map you'd want to be good at training on, if you can train well on this map, you can literally train in a shoebox. You know what I mean? A little quiet right now. It's a little eerie, guys. Okay, these aren't grouped up as much as I'd like, but we're going to try it. We're going to run through here. We're going to cook a nade near the back. Here we go. That's one. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Two. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, and we got an insta-kill as well. So we should be able to get the rest of these and finish the round. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up here. Technically, since I'm allowed to use what I'm given, I can get more nades. So I think this is going to genuinely be the play. And I don't want any one of you guys arguing in the comment section because it's already hard enough as it is. I can get ammo back for the pistol. I can get ammo for nades, okay? I'm probably going to ask a lot of questions in this video, but I want to know in the comments right now, where are you guys watching from? Just, just put what city you live in, what country. Okay, we've got a lot of zombies. Lots of zombies, man. Okay, we're just going to dip through here. Okay, first nade cooking out. Let's see what we cooking i can't believe it's round four and we make this many crawlers how does this make any sense how is this fair buy some more nades oh whoa oh my gosh all right here we go again that's a one still tons of crawlers okay so five rounds in we've had an insta kill a double points no nuke and no max ammo that's right, I feel like I'm playing the Chronicles version. The zombies are just spawning in so slowly. I don't think anything beats how creepy this is still. Like, look at these zombies. You can hear they're breaking down more windows. I mean, is there even any more? Oh, there they are. Oh, they are not happy. I can't believe these makes crawlers. It's still such a low round. Like, what is going on here? Oh, yes! We got a two for one combo, ladies and gentlemen. Grab the nuke. Back in the day when the nuke actually kills zombies straight away. I don't know how long this video is going to be because I'm, you know, in the middle of recording the very first map for it. But this could be quite a long one. We're doing good. We got ammo again, boys. Man, I am actually quite surprised how I was still doing this. I'm training recklessly. Okay, can we take out any of these crawlers with this pistol? Not really. You'd think with no legs, these guys would just literally pop off. Oh! <gasps> Oh, yo, let's go. Oh, we live life on the edge, ladies and gentlemen. We live it on the edge. I, I honestly did not expect to still be going on round 
six and nearly into seven here. Man, these guys are absolute sponges. For round six? Like, can you please? Somehow, I'm on round seven, lads. I, I genuinely don't know what's going on. Is this going to get me on zombie world records? I, I genuinely am curious at this rate. Okay, I, I'm, I'm feeling this is the round where things are going to change. Zombies are going to switch up and there's going to be way more runners than there is normally. There is a lot already. Could we go again? We go again. I don't want to get caught on that zombie. Oh, red screen. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, what do we do? Go for round two. Oh, my God. Just look at this mess. This heap of zombie mess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, yes. Just like Bob the Builder. Yes, he can. I'm just going to go crazy. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Okay. Oh! Yo, this is a madness. How am I doing this? I'm like a ra <gasps> No! Oh! Oh! How did that happen? How am I squeezing through them? No! No, no, no! No! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, no. This can't run. Oh my god! This is nuts! Yo, I'm cracked! I am officially cracked! Let's grab the Insta quick, 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 quick! I hear another drop. Is there another? Oh my god. Someone call me a god. Oh my god. I am lost for words, boys. I don't know what is going on. I've seen people comment before when I do these all zombie maps videos like, you're not really trying. Uh, guys, like... Seriously, I am trying my hardest here and we're actually getting somewhere. Jump through there. Look at them. Every single one was crawled. You love to see it. Here we go. Crawler number two. Okay, we duck and weave through. Man, I just feel so mobile, so nimble. Okay, that was awful. Imagine this was like a starting pistol only. This has now just become a grenades only, which we could probably also do for a video. If you want to see that, please let me know. <laughs> okay, I was very scared that blew up then, and then that was going to be it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my gosh. Took one there for good luck. Man, there is just so many crawlers absolutely everywhere. What is this? Okay, I need to get this guy. <gasps> no! No! I just mortied him to myself. Yo, let, let's be honest though. How did I just get a double points in the afterlife? 119 kills with just a pistol and what I began with. It's not bad, but let's move on to the Rooked. All righty, folks. The Rooked. Here we go. Not expecting a lot in this one because this on. is an infinitely harder map than Nacton Turtle. Not by much, actually, but still a little bit. I'm only going to use my knife to knife the window glass because it's just something you've got to do on this map, right? Let's see. If I headshot this guy purely, how many... What's it going to take? All right, about four. That's not bad. But with the general less space than Nacton, there's not really a good spot on this map whatsoever. I cannot line these up to save my life. Okay, let's try these three. This could be better, actually. Oh, a lot better. Oh, look at us go. We're like James Bond out here today. Okay, and this boy. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. A little hard to get headshots on this, you know. All right, let's open up this door here. So we've got a little bit more space to work with. And our style hand grenade. This map is still without question. One of the eeriest maps in all the zombies. It's just... So weird. So creepy. And they're already fast. I forgot how fast the rip zombies are going to be. The screams right there. It's just so creepy. I think this is the last zombie as well. Gotta love when you just have the slowest zombies in the whole wide world. No waiting. Come on. You can make it. You really can. Okay, here we go. My boy's in. My boy made it. Welcome to the party. Hello? Round two and he didn't die. Okay, round three. These zombies are not messing about. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, I, I still can't believe that you get this many crawlers on such an early round. Okay, we gotta we gotta drop. We got two. We've got drops enabled, boys. Oh, what? No. No way. No way. G no numa. I have some high hopes for this map. I really do. It's gonna be a slow one, but it's gonna be good. And I have never noticed that. That is absolutely grim. I'm pretty sure we've got all the zombies in already. There's only like five, maybe even less. Did you see that? Yeah, that was such a quick round. What the heck? It's definitely a much slower map in general than previous two. 
I like it. It's a nice change of pace. We've got three nades. We've got a fair amount of ammo. This is looking good. Hey, how swipey like every zombie is in this. Round two crawlers. Why is that a thing? Okay, let's go ahead and open up this. So we got ourselves some nades. And we have pretty much most of the main Shinonuma map to play with here. And the mystery box. Oh, man. I've never thought this. But isn't it a bit weird that the previous map, you need to turn the power on. But in this map, you don't. It's already just on. I've never really thought about it. But that is really weird, isn't it? All right, let's start cooking up these nades the best way we know how. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, that was close. Oh, look at that lovely yeah and we got nades as well so let's see if we're gonna end the round with just this nade come on of course not there we go i think if there's anywhere on shinuma you'd want to go it's gonna be this just over and over just realize we're gonna have dog rounds as well hmm we've got a lot of zombies here a lot of zombies and i think that nade's not gonna get any of them okay we got some okay over the hill we go oh that was a lot we're actually doing pretty good Oh, forgot the last one sprints. No. Oh, if it's dog round, this is a pog drop. And we got a decent amount of ammo for it too. Come on. You know it makes sense. Okay, no. All right, it's fine. We'll just pop some heads. I'm going to be real careful because some of these zombies as crawlers are just too fast. Like they are going to, it's going to be bad. I need to go and buy nades. I have a real weird feeling the next time I throw a grenade, we're going to, we're going to have um, some drops. Oh God. No, no, no. No, no, I knew I wasn't going to make it. I really wanted to try after the knack lock. No. Okay, now this is the map I've been really excited to play. And I think you guys watching have been as well. This is, this is where it really gets good with World at War onwards. Like if we can get the teleporters on and get this papped, then this is a different ball game, lads. If I can get all these zombies with one nade. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, I'm feeling lucky. Oh, yes. If you didn't believe in me, shame on you. I doubt we can make this two in a row, but I can definitely give it a go. You know what? I've got three grenades. Let's treat myself. Oh, yo, you can't make this up. All right, let's grab the nuke. Don't think I can afford... No, I can't afford power just yet. But we are looking good. We've got a decent amount of zombies in here, so... Let's go first nade out. Second nade out. <gasps> Ooh, okay, let's go quick. Speed run. Get rid of the rest of these zombies. Okay, we can get power on. And hopefully it could be dog round. It'd be lovely. Okay, no dog round. But this is looking tasty, boys. We've got a good amount of zombies here. Let's see if we can get another surprise drop. No. Okay, we got a drop, but it's not what we really want. I mean, this actually might help us open up some stuff. I'm actually going to start using my pistol. Let's make make some points. Oh my god, a max ammo? Yo. Who's impressed by my trigger finger? You ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that. I'm goaded. Now, we do need to work on getting the teleporter. We could do this. We do be kind of cracked, though. I've only just realized the voice in the World at War version, it sounds a lot like Takio's voice actor. But I do want to link another teleporter, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to risk my luck. Oh, could we actually do this? Is then I need to get the points to actually hack a punch. Just so many zombies. What on earth? Okay, what's the drop? What's the drop? Double points. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too close for comfort. Okay, let's just chuck one nade there. Back off. Another one. Oh, God. No! No! I chucked a nade at some... No, and it wasn't... Oh, my God. I think we genuinely could have got Pat then. But let's move on to a far better game, Black Ops 1. But hey, here we are on Black Ops 1 Zombies. And I'm actually really, really excited for this because I feel like out of any games, World of War was definitely the, like, hardest one for us. But this should be just a, a walk in the park one of these maps we're gonna get pack a punch it could genuinely be moon i really love that to happen how sick would that be It'd be like a little no man's land challenge but anyway let's focus on the task at hand here kino der toten a lot of zombies coming in this was supposed to be on world at war and uh it never did it's supposed to be dlc4 i'm sure most of you know that but if you didn't hey you learned something new we're still keeping the same rules i'm not using my knife just pistol and nades. It seems a lot easier to get headshots than just 
mash zombies up in this than it was in World at War. And on round two, we've already got zombie sprinting, which is uh, always fun. Oh, hello. We're getting the nades out already on round two. Hello. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, doesn't this just bring you back? to better days, man. Care three days. Let me know in the comments, right? I'm probably going to ask you a bunch of things. You already did in World at War. But like, do you remember playing this game when it first came out? Like, how old were you? Does this remind you of like school? And all the times you spent playing like with your friends online? Oh, I know it does for me. And um, things are getting serious here, folks. Round three, zombies going sicker mode on us okay so we've got some zombie oh hello it's still a two here I, I i need to remember that this is not any easier i'm just a man in the alleyway training up the undead oh i don't even have nades oh no what what am i genuinely supposed to do here every world at war map had nades that i could buy this map i think the nades are in pack a punch i don't know what we do here folks like do i just go to the next map because i genuinely can't use my knife and I have no ammo and I have no nades. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I need to quickly interrupt this video to bring you some really exciting news. After 10 years on this channel, I now have a second channel called More Daleks. If you guys want to subscribe for more gaming content that's not Call of Duty, please go ahead and check out the link in the description. But only after you finish watching this video. Don't do it now. Do it after you've watched the video. I'm so excited to kickstart a second channel. I hope you guys are too, but let's get back to the video. Ah, welcome to the Pentagon, my friends. Now, yeah, since we couldn't actually go any further with Keen, no, we're now on five and I have a very horrible feeling that this could be a running theme for Black Ops 1 and maybe other maps going forward. I really didn't think about this one, did I? I still want to keep the no knife thing because I think it's cheap. Sure, we start with it, but it's a starting pistol we're using, right? We're not using the knife. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let every single zombie in and see if we can just kill them with one nade. That's definitely productive. We're grouping up all these zombies actually proving to be very very difficult why is this so difficult right, at least we got one good amount right there that should blow them all up oh yeah look at that now one more for this lad he gets his own nade because he's special and boom there we go didn't even use a single bullet we're open up here it's just weird to see after classified it just seems so plain and also very very small but yeah we've got our two nades back we can keep this going Right, I didn't think Kino through. And if we get to the Pentagon Thief round, and then he steals this pistol, oh, it's going to be rough, isn't it? This is a far more intense round than the first one. I mean, just look at this. Oh, let's not get slapped again. Thank you. Okay, we've got all the zombies bar one. And this is looking really good. Okay, if we can do this as well with one nade, we've got a crawler and two zombies here. Okay, this seems grouped up enough. Please, can this be enough? Please. Oh, it was as well. Oh, yeah. If we could just get a drop on round three, that would be sweet. Thank you. Okay, round three is looking very hectic in comparison. <gasps> no, I thought we get through the gap, dude. Oh, dude. Right, Ascension. This is going to be the one. Big, big starting room and welcome to the legendary map ascension man first ever easter egg quest in zombies and we've still got the classic two grenades but i have a lot of faith in us for this because the phd flopper area has nades so i genuinely think we could get far on this we've got some of our zombies and look these zombies knew even even back in 20 what 11 they got to wear face masks, man. They knew before us that a pandemic was going to happen. And also, there's nothing saying we can't use that to kill the zombies if we wanted to. Like, we fully could just crouch under that and just let it kill everything. Okay, first nade out. Let's see. We should have clean, full sweep. There we go. Beautiful. Look, 750 to buy that. We get outside here. And this is probably the only map that we're going to have this bliss. This right here is the golden ticket, okay? golden ticket i think this map is an absolute masterpiece it's still so good i can still use my pistol so i'm going to start using it a little bit so get some drops to watch out for the zombies that duck weave and dodge it's wild how they've done that in this map we've got our first group to nade so here we go boom the explosions in this game do not mess about and the final final one oh that just Toby'd right over, but still was a clean sweep, baby. Get the nades. And can I actually buy four? There we go. That's what I was looking for. Lovely. All right, I think we're ready. I think we're ready, boys. Look at how many zombies we got there. Beautiful. No crawlers. But you got these super slow ones that we're not going to see for another five minutes. Somehow I've got a crawler. Get rid of these crawlers. 
Let's also get rid of the actual zombies. Here we go. Beautiful. We've got this guy here. We've got one there and one there. Uh, what, what do we do here? If I can take out this guy with my bullets. Oh, I can. Okay. And these guys should go boom. Okay, of course. Oh, one shot. We are real close to getting power on. I'm proud of myself. Oh, it's round four. All I need is one drop. I don't know if nades even give you drops. They should, because they did in World at War. Come on. Look at this, Conga Train. We could bounce grenades off the walls here for days. Here we go. Come on. Okay. Full on crawlers. That's what we love to see. Now they're gone, but we do have a nuke, so let's grab it. But we can officially get power on. So this is a really good start so far. Here we go. Turn on the power. Oh, and there's the box. Oh, man. Can we make it safely back to our spot? Yes, we can. Look at that rocket, man. It's still so cool. Okay, let's activate the Lunar Lander here. Just, just because we can. I think there's such a unique method of transport. We've never quite seen it again in zombies. Okay. Nade going out. Okay, that was decent. Decent nade. Just need to make sure we're making enough money from the zombies that we use the nades on to actually get the money for more nades. Still no max ammos, no insta kills, no nothing. This is gonna do it. This has got to end the round, surely. Here we go. Oh, there's just one on his own, really. You gotta be that guy. And we get that. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the lander. If we actually get pack a punch open and we get it done, I will be shocked. Might as well open this as well if we want to get like a bunch fully open. Just look at the difference in speed of all these zombies. Now we're on round six. This is this is insane. I think the world record for getting on this map by just running grenades in this strat here could generally be like in the 30s or 40s. <gasps> what? Hello? What? No, man. Why am I getting so unlucky on every single map here? Black Ops 1 just hates me. Oh, what an absolute hot classic this map is. Although, I don't think I'm going to have as much luck as we were going to have in Ascension. But I will give it my absolute best. There's no way we're taking down George with just a starting pistol. <laughs> you see, if we could knife, this would actually be a ton easier. Since we can't... I'm just going to have to make sure my headshots are on point. Imagine spawning in zombies with full ammo. That would be nice. I just remembered, any time we use nades, it's just going to make George get mad. I don't really know what the best thing is here. We can buy Semtexes. I think I like back here. Wouldn't mind just buying nades, though. But I, I genuinely don't see us getting very far in this. Really need a drop from a zombie. Just anything. Oh, we're blessed. No more fog. Thank God. And bullets left. Why am I getting violated like this? Ah, oh, I hope that we have better luck with this. I am not feeling very confident about it, but hey, I'm excited to be playing Shangri-La at least. You know what? We can use the monkeys to our advantage. We need them max ammos. The monkeys are there. We want the perks. The monkeys are there, you know? Monkeys are our friend. One. Okay, what? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hello? Six. Okay, there we go. There's the insta kill. You know what? I want it. I'm going to shoot you to get some points. Shoot you. I feel like nades are this way. I have no real idea. But hey, we're nearly near the mystery box. Still was there. This map is just so uh, un... I don't know. Just everything's so unexpected. We could try and group all the zombies into this and then nade. Could genuinely be a good, good move. I know this video is already quite long and we're only into the second game, but please... I really hope you're enjoying it. If you have any like suggestions on other challenges you'd like to see on all maps, please feel free to put them down below in the comments. I, I always check the comments on these videos. Even if the video is months old, I'll still be checking. Okay, let's whip out the first nade of the game. Come on. Give me some luck. Okay, okay second nade out. I'm not feeling like this is going to end the round. Okay, we did get a crawler. Let's see. Boom! Okay. Open up this and take ourselves inside of here. And do we have nades? No, we don't. I, they could be in the next room. Okay, I told you. This is the meta, lads. You get them trapped in here. And then they come out. Grenade. Okay, here we go. The first one. Come on. Drop, drop, drop. Oh, my God. Ah! That's not, that's not the drop I wanted. But you know what? We'll take it. So we can get double our points. Come on, monkey. 
No. And no nades. Uh, no. What am I supposed to do? Okay, we can at least open in here. Are there nades? Okay, there is. Semtex nades, and they're 250. If I build some windows, technically there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, no. Rebuilding rebuilding them but i'm not actually getting any points i think i might just have to take the l lads and go on to moon now this is what i'm here for ladies and gentlemen this is gonna be really good only awkward thing is normally i'd be kniving all of these zombies and then as soon as they actually start running that's when you're gonna get your points i've only got two nades so i might actually see if i can use this collateral while I'm at it. While I still have the time. Okay, maybe not. But I think it's best to just unload all of the ammo into these and try my best to gain some points. Like even the dogs. Like, how many shots do the dogs take? A fair amount. Okay, I... You what? You what, mate? I severely underestimated how hard that would be without using my knife. But why did I die? I I'm so glad Black Ops 3 Zombies changed the health because that is nuts. But let's go on. Let's go on to transit. <laughs> Oh, Lord. This is really happening, guys. This is really happening. This is it. We are on transit. And I'm actually sort of excited. I don't know. We do have the power of the bank on our side, though, for all of these Victus maps. And you know what? I'm actually kind of excited to see what we can do with that, honestly. Because that literally adds a whole new can of worms, which I don't think any of us even thought about when you clicked on this video, okay? We generally didn't. Okay, so let's place a turbine down. Let me get both doors open. No, I can never get that right for some reason. Okay, we're going to skirt away from Ted. See you later, mate. And we're going to go to the bank, okay? Because if I can get points to pack a punch, my starting pistol, then, like, we've already won, right? We've already won. All I need is enough to open the door. I need 40 more points. Come on. All right, there we go. Now, see, none of you said that I couldn't do this. And if anything, this could make this a lot more fun. <laughs> A lot more fun, okay? I won't buy any perks just because I think that'll make it just a little bit more fun. So eight grand should be enough. Eight grand will be fine. But we got to go to power and do the stupid process to get Pack-A-Punch open, which is the dumbest thing in the world. I'm doing this because I really want to prove that I can actually survive for a long time. But I don't want you guys to think I'm just half assing these attempts. I really don't want you to think that. If you're here to leave a comment about how high I rated transit in my ranking video, you're welcome. Since it's still round one, hopefully, just to be extra safe, I took the turbine down and now I'll put it back there. There's no way that thing is going to get destroyed. All right, here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. We'll open this, please. Is Pat there? I'm gonna cry. What the hell, man? Why? What did I do to deserve this? Are you joking? Okay, let's get down the first nade of transit. Like, if it doesn't kill those, it is weird because these zombies are all on fire, so they should insta die. Okay, attempt number two. Seriously. Hop it there. And run, 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 run. I can hear them spawning near it. Please just give me a break. After all that, the bus was behind us the whole time anyway. Okay, please, please, please be open or else I'm going to go crazy. Yes, let's freaking go, boys. Finally, insert voice crack here. Oh, thank heavens. I can actually bring you guys a good video now. I feel happy. Lads, we've got the first dub. All right, look at that. I could just not have a gun if I wanted to, but we're going to have the Mustang and Sally's. I'm not going to waste the ammo straight away. So let's see if we can nade this boy. But at least now I feel somewhat safe. Only problem is that Avogadro comes in. I physically can't use my knife to get rid of it. I have, I, I'm only using the starting pistol. That's going to be a bit of a problem. And once I run out of ammo with this, that's it. I can't do anything. And the one thing I never understood about Black Ops 2 is how slow zombies can be. Like you've got fast ones, but then you've also got ones that even on super duper high rounds, they are really slow. Okay, first one going out. Look at that. Already got the max ammo. You know what? This is a good sign, boys. Yeah, the only problem is these zombies are so slow. You can't even really find or work out where they are. Yeah, since it's a starting pistol only, I'm not buying perks for any of these. Because that's not what I'm using, right? That's stuff which I didn't start with. No matter how well I'm conserving the ammo here, these zombies are just... Look at them. 
They don't even know what day of the week it is. Yep, there he is. Can't wait. Can't wait to die to him. Why have you got to do this to me? It's just crazy that no that bullets do nothing. Like we're just going to basically... That's another thing that's going to be so irritating. It could also be the death of us. Who knows? I'd love to get through this ammo and find out before, though. Oh, God. Okay, please don't do that again, Mr. Avogadro. Please don't. I'm nervous enough as it is. <gasps> insta-kill. Although, this is already an insta-kill. Oh, we got the... Oh, you know what? You know what? We're going to use this. We're going to use this to our advantage. I want to keep the insta-kill here, so we're just going to run through. This is why... I love black ops. <gasps> oh, hello. No way. This is why I love black ops 2. And this is also why I dislike black ops 2. Don't give me an instant insta kill if it doesn't actually. Yeah, I I hate lava. I know this is only going to go one way. And uh, since you've only got this and we need to open three grand to get this this is probably going to be a pretty short map every time i play it i'm just taken aback by how gorgeous this map is like of course playing on pc it looks way better than it ever would on console but man this map is still such a great atmospheric experience all the way in 2020 we've got something falling down where is it going boom i don't get why black ops 2 the zombies are always so slow we only get two nades on this like as the round goes up we don't get like another two which i really don't understand why yeah, how many headshots one two three beautiful that's how it's done boys now if you got pack a punch to drop really early on then that would be a huge dub but like i said again we've got some sprinters we've got some like slow ones it's really like hard to work out how to time these nades so they hit all these zombies. Here we go, cooking another one. Okay, that was pretty that was pretty clean. Okay, we've got a lot of zombies in here now. We got a lot for round three. It's actually shocking how many we got. And that did nothing. Hello? Okay, big nade going out. Big nade. Come on. Oh, that was good. And now it's like, how do I take out the rest of these? Like, I'm gonna have to focus on these crawlers and hope they drop something good. Okay, our, our situation's looking drastic now. I, I pray to the gods that these zombies drop something good. <gasps> oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Hello. RN Jesus. You have blessed us. Oh my god. So we can actually open this. So let's do it. I really am worried that these are Semtexes. So yeah, these are Semtex nades. Oh, I don't really count it. Could have opened anywhere else on the map, but nope, we chose there. But hey, we've got four grenades again, rather than just two. Okay, I have no idea what that drop was. If it's Pack-A-Punch, we might have royally screwed it. I'm hoping we get some good RNG in this round too. We've got so many zombies here. Boom, there's one. Oh my god, look at that. That was a good one. Round four, and nades just make crawlers now. <gasps> you can't make this up, boys. Jimmy Zielinski, I know you're looking down on us right now. Thank you so much for this RNG, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's have some fun with this, boys. Come on. Oh my god. Double the double points. This is everything. Okay. We've done decent with that. I just need the double points. Quick, 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 quick. It's going to run it out. It's going to go. And now we got some right on the cusp of that. Oh, no way, dude. No way. We got another insta. I just need to make sure every bullet counts now because. Wow. <laughs> okay. They're pretty awkward to get because I want both, but I don't at the same time. If only we had them in a separate order, it probably would have helped. I really need the zombies to come into the map so I can actually get another drop from them. Okay, we, we can afford to open up some stuff. I wish I never spent three grand because if Packer Punch is here, I'm going to be annoyed. This is a really good training spot as well. Come on, Aids. Come on, Aids. Don't let me down. Oh! <laughs> no, Molten and your bunker. How dare you? Didn't even get to see if there was any drops there, but I will take that. That was that was actually a pretty valiant effort, if you ask me. Oh, lads. Oh, lads. Where, where has this gone wrong? Welcome to what many people would say is the worst zombies map ever made. And that is a really harsh and very strong thing to say. Somewhere on the planet, Johnny J25 is still raising money for a billboard to remaster this map and i'm very happy playing this on black ops 2 
and um, never playing a remastered version, at least not anytime soon. Now, the real question here is, how do you go about a map like Die Rise when it comes to this sort of challenge? Like, we're going to go in the elevator because it's just an amazing part of the map. It's just such a cool little experience here. But honestly, besides that, what else are you Don't supposed like to much. do? Now, I can get points. So essentially, that's going to make this a heck of a lot easier. I want to get enough to open up the map, get the power on, pack a punch. And then we're really talking because then I can survive for a very long time. I need this. I need this elevator to go. Come on. Come on. Let's get moving. Let's get moving here, people. No, no, no. Not today. Okay. Thank God. All right. I don't really have a reason to be here. I don't need to build this liquefier. I'm just a simple man that's looking for the pack a punch. As with other maps, it's also incredibly easy to get lost and not remember where the heck you're going. I've well and truly missed actually going up on the elevators, so I don't really know what to do. 21 bullets to my name, and I've just got to wait here for some more lift. Okay. Oh my god, pack a punch is already here. Oh my god. Yo, what are the odds? That is amazing. All right, this is a great, great dub. And mule kick, not that we'd ever need it. Genuinely, I think we could have this one in the bag, you know. And then also with jumping jacks as well, if I can hit, shoot, get them with one shot of this, we could get a ton of perks as well. Genuinely, I'm feeling sort of good about this, sort of good. I don't quite have enough to buy perks straight away, but we can at least see what this one's going to be. Look at that lovely tower. i got to say, though, the skybox in this map, oh, it's beautiful. There is just so much going on. Imagine if I had PhD as a perma perk as well. We would be absolutely laughing. But I'm genuinely thinking this is the strat from now on, boys. Just stay up here on the roof. Easy plays. Oh, we just missed what that is. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna make its way up. Let's grab this nuke, and what do we get? That's the big boom. You genuinely cannot make this up. Juggernog and apt pistols on round four die rise who would have thought it i mean it feels if this was remastered it actually look really nice i'd love to know in the comments right die rise are you a fan or do you hate it i know some people that say this is the worst zombies map ever made and that's a little harsh i mean i don't i don't really know where it fits here we go oh, boom oh my god <laughs> okay let's grab that oh my god a double points as well we are just being spoiled today Okay, round five. It's starting to get a little hectic. Zombies are starting to pile up and they are moderately fast, but it's still no problem. Look at that. All of them gone. All of them. I think it should be all of round five. No, nope, there's always one pesky zombie. That's just like, yes, I'm late to the party. Still looking good on ammo. Round six now. Absolutely no Nova crawlers in sight. All right, lads, it's starting to get a little bit fruity up on this rooftop, you know. All the zombies are pretty much at same speed now. They're just spawning in slower rates but look at that but we've got like literal zombie army soldier zombies it's weird oh here we go i'm, I'm actually really excited for this okay i need to get a hundred percent direct impact oh, okay i don't know if that hit please please can that have can that have still counted so that's one that's two Three. I hate how these things spawn. They're so weird. Wow, okay. We've got two for one there. And last one. Oh, we got it. We got it, lads. And what was the perk? Oh, my God. Chugger bud. If it wasn't already good enough, lads, who wants some chugger bud? I almost feel like this is going to be a bit too easy. And the irony is probably the map you guys don't really want to watch that much of. But, hey. That is the nature of the challenge. If you haven't already yet, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. My social links are in the description. I never ever really shout them out in a video, but I thought while we're here, and you guys are obviously making it through the video, which I super appreciate, and just, you know, reminding you guys, we, we're going to be doing more videos like this, and I'd love to know what other videos, ideas you'd want me to do similar to this, and you can let me know over on Twitter. We've got a juicy amount of zombies here. Here we go. Boom. Okay, we're making some crawlers in here. On round eight. It can be good forever, right? Wow, look at that. Damage radius. Hello? I clipped your leg. When I do run out of ammo in this and I can't go on anymore, I am going to absolutely dolphin dive off the highest point of this map. Okay, this train is so tight right now. It is crazy what's going on. <gasps> Yo, what? Why did I do that? Okay, it's fine. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Now, can I actually get myself out of this? No, oh, of course I can't. No. It was nice hearing that chugga bud who's who for a few moments there. But let's move on to a perfect map. Ah, yes, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, mob of the dead. I don't think we're going to have as much of a easy time with this one, especially when it comes to packer punching the pistols. But I am so excited for this one. If I go down, at least I have afterlife, but it's not going to really help with my ammo situation. But my idea is let the zombies in, take them I out on round one, you. round two, just grab the double forever. points, and then just keep opening up the map. Oh, okay. Say no more. A double points with a double points. That's a healthy looking points amount. I, I can't lie to you, boys. Okay, we grab the double points again and we Now's keep it rolling, okay? We keep it going. Also, probably start using nades because this is uh, getting a bit close. Oh, okay. So no more ammo, but I do have a grand and I feel like we are due a max ammo. Okay, I might as well open this just to give myself a little bit more breathing room. Mob of the Dead has easily one of the weirdest zombie spawns because you'll have like super slow zombies, even in like the 50s and upwards super slow for no real reason we've got a really good setup here a really good setup I've done this before. Believe oh. Me. oh my god yo let's go get that double points grenade action it could be the final one actually what am i wasting my ammo for no okay wouldn't it be funny if we actually did this lockdown i don't think it's possible if we had the insta still but the whole of it I reckon it could actually be a thing, but highly doubt it. We can give it a go. Still have my four nades, so that's good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now let's see. Can we survive this? Oh, oh training like a madman. You can't stop me. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> but the beauty is we've got another afterlife. I think that actually means it's, no, it's not done. Might as well just stay in here until it is. It's our little cheating mechanism. Oh, it's done now. When in doubt, use that. Oh my god, hello. Why is there so many zombies in here? I'll tell you another thing that I think you guys might forget if you've not played Black Ops 2 in a while is Black Ops 2 zombies is so hard. Like, it is seriously hard. There is a heck of a lot for round four, man. Look at that. Just don't stop. Nade, come on. That'll do it. All right, that's decent. I want to use... Again, to drop me something. I can just tell. Oh! <laughs> Oh, you can't make it up, can you? There's something I only learned recently, right? You see this ledge right here? You can mantle up to it. You, you can't do that on any other thing in this map. Or in Black Ops 2 for that matter. But you can mantle up on there. If you did not know that, I want you to let me know right now by dropping a thumbs up if you haven't already. Big up Greg FPS for teaching me that. Uh, like, re really, I, I did not know that was a thing. How is this round not ending? You have a max ammo in here. That's oh, another double points. Okay. Okay, right now, I really should just be using this because I don't have nades anymore. Okay, so we've got wardens open, but I have no nades. I have no nades and a lot of zombies. Oh my God, I don't want to say it. You know what? I'm not going to. I need just one gap to run through here. <sighs> okay, or maybe not. Maybe not. But here we are on the hottest classic map to ever exist buried i mean just looking at the difference in the hud between mob and then buried oh look at that a little western font a little broken wheel you've got to love it man if buried doesn't get a remake i will eat my shoelaces i've already eaten my shoe at some point but the shoelaces as well. Look at the scale of this map, though. It's absolutely insane. You never really even see this stuff. And we're all about preservation here. So we're going to try and preserve as much ammo as we can. Got one boy there. Got two boys here. Hopefully this doesn't roll off onto the edge of the... Uh... Oh my god, it nearly did as well. <laughs> I mean, we literally could just stay up here and never go down. And just look at the beauty that is buried. Like, what is happening here? All this stuff and you never really ever pay attention. All right, here we go. Boom. Let's go. And we can get ourselves some free money. Okay, should we let out Leroy? I think it'd be rude not to. Where is he? There he is. I can't imagine what exactly Treyarch were smoking when they thought of up Leroy. Just every concept in this map. It is insane, but so good at the same time. Now I can just straight open up to pack a punch we could do that and if we could actually survive the witches we do have the bank uh oh i'm gonna i'm gonna make him run straight back into his prison cell oh don't be scared 
Drink okay. some more oh. alcohol, my friend. <laughs> Bam! Slam through that zombie. Oh, look at him. He absolutely... He just slammed him into the next universe. Okay, let's nade these. That's the one bad thing about this map. Is Leroy is going to constantly get scared over grenades. I know. I know. My man's trying to get to... Trying to get to the booze, isn't he? Okay, so let's try and at least get to back a bunch because that'll be how we're going to survive in this map. And it's just insane that Mob of the Dead came out and then we have like this. It's such a stark contrast in map. But that, I think that's what makes Black Ops 2 Zombies so interesting is just how different the, the season of Zombies maps were. Like there really isn't anything that was ever the same. The thing is he moves too fast. If I throw a nade, it's guaranteed to like scare him off. Okay, this is so hard. How do I do this without the zombie, like, swiping me? Hey, I think we might have just figured it out. Come on. Please, can this work? Boom! Yes! He done it. Only issue is, how am I going to deal with the witches? Like, they could genuinely end me. Hey, okay, please. Please, please, please. That was so hard to... Oh, no. I've messed it up. He bopped himself in the tree. I can't do anything right now. I'm officially out of ammo. I've got no nades. I can't use Leroy for anything. So we're going to have to go to Origins. This sucks. Ah, uh, here we are. I am very excited to get me some Origins. Very, very excited indeed. Imagine if we could... Well, I was like, imagine if we could build like a staff. But again, can't use it. Mauser only. I think we might have a similar issue to other maps where we just run out of ammo we just don't have the ammo i'm gonna try and work with what we can we're making really good progress on point look at that two grand oh my god another double points oh this game's just treating us today isn't it oh we've got a robot stomping as well like what do we do we could actually get in it we could actually get this one as well there we go this was like a speed run or just a general run where you're trying to get a decent time. Actually, like, working really well in our favor. In our zombies, where are you? I'm going to try and get this generator done. I knew it would be all right. What I want to do is just try and get all the zombies together and then start using those nades we've got in our back pocket. Like, we've got a good amount right here. Okay, let's see if we can make a dent in these. Oh, yes, that looks good. And we've got a nuke as well. Is it enough to open to no man's land though? I don't think so. And of course we can dig because hey, that's the feature the map offers us. Don't see anything wrong with that. And hey, we've got a nade out the ground and it made a crawler. So in a way, dig sites can actually be our other set of nades. No! I thought I could squeeze through the gap, dude. All right, well, I'm happy to move on to Black Ops 3 because this game's actually really, really hard. But I'm very excited because... I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Yes, dudes. Welcome to Shadows of Evil. I'm so excited. And also, what makes this interesting is technically, I have the RK5 from the Super Easter Egg. So I actually have not one, but two pistols to my disposal. So you already know, this is going to be a much more wilder, uh, crazier set of, uh, set of maps that we're going to be doing. And it's only going to get better as this bit goes on. The one rule I will make is that I will not allow myself to buy ammo for the RK5 off the wall because that's just cheap. And these are the gobble gums that I'm running right now. So I don't have actually anything involving max ammos. Now, I could put something on to make that a little bit easier for myself and give myself max ammos. But I feel like that's just taking away a little bit the essence of the challenge. So we're not going to be doing that. And also, I'm not going to start using shopping freeze and stuff just to like get a free pack a punch because that's just a bit too cheap, you know. By all means, using gobble gums isn't cheating, but I just feel it. There is a fine line. There's a fine line. You know what? Even the Bloodhound is a fantastic pistol on its own. Even if we didn't have the RK5, it's, you start with Falamo in it, so you can't really complain on that front. But I, I have no doubts in my mind that we're actually going to get pretty far in this and every other zombies map. Anything that's going to ruin us is literally just RNG. Just RNG. Who doesn't love rolling around as a big squiddy monster, you know? I also still think that this map is genuinely one of the best maps ever. And I don't understand how people can disagree with that. So this Bloodhound is, is sick. I mean, yeah, granted we are in round two. But it just sounds like it means business, you know? It's hard hitting. It's punchy. I can't believe the mobsters used this in the cutscene. But it's not actually in the map. Oh, and look at that. We've already got RN Jesus on our side here. Here's the thing. If we do actually get to pack a punch without dying, what is our first weapon of choice is it going to be bloodhound or is it going to be rk5 okay ritual number two 
probably going to be super easy. Like, I could play this map maybe blindfolded. It's, I've played it that many times and I'll just know everything there is to know. More so than that, we're going to get our first Marguini. I'm honestly here for it. Look how much ammo we've got in a starting pistol. Okay, he's getting a bit close. Oh! I don't feel I've ever, ever just been choke slammed by a Margua like that and had my game ended. I genuinely thought I was backed up enough that that wouldn't have happened. For real. Now, I definitely think we're going to have some more luck on the giant. So let's go into that. All right, folks, we're going to have a lot more luck on this one. I'm telling you, uh, we're going to get pack a punch. We're going to get the teleporters linked going to be a good time. I think one great point to make about BO3 and BO4 is that the more we get into this uh, series on all the maps and games, the more you realize the like more recent the game is, the more easier it seems to be. Like we already have, I mean, this is on my own accord, of course, getting the Easter egg done. So I get this reward of a second starting pistol, but like it's already going to be pretty easy with the fact we have gobble gums. But then BO4, you can completely change what starting pistol you choose with. Have a stiletto knife, which we're not using for this challenge. But like I'm saying, you, you could genuinely use your pistol and knife zombies for like... You could combine that and be good to like round five or six. And then you can also use your specialist. And then you've got gobble gums. It's just nuts, right? I don't know how BO5 could make it even more easier than it seems to be but i hope it goes backward so it's not so easy i also have this beautiful pistol the mr6 which it's just way too many bullets just to kill a single zombie but look at this round three it does nothing if this was mr6 only i'd cry even though i'm doing this on my pc account yeah i still have all the eggs done but they're not on ps4 it would have been the exact same scenario. I mean, look at that, man. Look at that. Thank God they changed it on Zombies Chronicles back to the uh, M1911. There's our lovely power on, and look at that. I still look at this, and I'm like, man, this looks so good. Even though this is, like, nearly five years old, it still looks amazing to me. All right, let's link the main frame. Now, I'm completely out of ML6 ammo, and I have, like, clipping a bit of this left. Imagine if this is a map. You can't make this up, ladies and gentlemen. This is not streamer RNG. I'm telling you now, we're not streaming this. And that is, that is wild. Basically, I live to tell another tale. Now, see, if I was to do a dog round with just the ML6, I would be scared. I'd actually be crying at how scared, how... Look at that. It's amazing how bad this starting pistol is. I've only just about done that there. Let's see if we can actually do this round with just this. Oh, yeah. No, it can't be done. That's going to be the end of me. Last doggy, though. Last doge. And boom. That's the second. Linked pad. I think if we got perks, this would make it too easy. I'd literally be able to survive for so, so long. Ooh. Taking, like, two bursts to kill, even headshots. If you miss the head, it's, like, three. All right, let's get this last one linked. And boom, there we go. Pack-a-punch is ready. Probably the easiest pack-a-punch we'll ever have. Oh, and a death machine. Oh, oh, we can afford. We can afford to upgrade. And I'm definitely upgrading the RK5. Oh, God. Out of ammo. Lordy, lordy, lordy. All right. Let's see what nades are like. I've not used the grenade in Black Ops 3 in so long. Oh, and as you can see, it's actually pretty good. Instead of make this, make, shape this up a little bit. We're going to stay purely on this platform and see how long we can go for i think that's definitely fair we've got such an op starting pistol now <laughs> with some ammo honestly i can see a pattern emerging for all uh bo3 maps that we've still yet to record in this because this is this is just op as hell until until that nearly happens okay let's just chill let's just chill I can afford the MR6s as well. And you know what? Let's throw those in the oven. Okay, let's have a bit of fun here. Since we're just sitting here, just kind of spraying away. Let's make some booms. Might as well have some fun with this, right? I'm just going to shoot everywhere. Hope for the best. These will never be the same as Mustang and Sally's. I really hope whatever the next game is, they have Mustang and Sally's. But we have the M1911 come back. It's just got to be done. We're unlocking. We're unlocking attachments in 2020 on Black Ops 3 still, lads. Okay, a tiny bit hectic, but no matter. You know the ones we just got to keep spraying and hoping for the best? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yo. We might, this might as well work on the catwalk. This would honestly, 
This is probably a modern day catwalk. No! You know what? I'm kind of done with the giant anyway. Let's go on to the best map in zombies, Der Eisendrack. Ah, you ever seen a map this perfect? I don't think you have, and I certainly haven't. Now, I wonder if we can actually fill up to get a bow with just these starting pistols. I mean, with the RK5, you absolutely can. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a system where we're going to do one map RK5 and MR6, then one map just MR6. And I think this is going to be the one. Just, just because otherwise it's going to be a bit too easy. I want to add a little bit of challenge here. So we're doing some OG stuff that we were doing in the, the other maps. We're just training them up. And then we're going to just go ahead, throw down one of our grenades. Oh, just let the magic happen. In fact, you spawn with full pistol ammo. I think that's just one of the benefits of the RK5 as well. That already puts us at a bit more of an advantage than uh, you would originally expect. I do have this tram fuse, so I might as well put it in and see if we can get like a max ammo or something. That would definitely help out. Gondola arriving. And what did we get? We got ourselves an insta kill. You know what? That is perfect by me. You know, that is perfect. Okay, we've got a grenade down in the spawn. We've got a grenade here. Throw another one there. Oh my god, what the hell? So many drops just all at once. Got one zombie on his own. So you, my friend, are going to go boom. All right, here we are at the first dragon head. Can we actually make anything happen? Can we actually kill any? I don't think we're going to be feeding the dragon, though. Unless our ammo situation gets a little better. But hey, this crawler, that crawler we just made, he can be the dragon's first victim. There it goes. It's already eaten, munching away. I reckon we could maybe fill it up with the ammo that we have. We do have some crawlers. Oh, wait, that's what we need. And I've only got 14 bullets. How am I supposed to get rid of all of these? RN Jesus, please come to my aid. I think I only might need one more zombie. And that, my friends, is all she wrote on the ammo side. We've got zero of zero. You know what? I'm not ending it here. I want to keep going. I don't want to stop playing Darius and Drac. We'll scrap that rule. I don't want to see you be upset over there in the comment section. I want to see you thriving. I want to see you living your best life. Thing is, I don't even know why I'm trying to fill up a dragon. I'm not exactly grabbing the, the bow. I might as well just get rid of these all while we still can. All right, easy dog round, boys. That was easy. So now it's just like trying to find a good spot on where we go and pack a punch. Oh my God, there we go. There's the max ammo. Not that we were running too low, but this just, oh my God. If you want to make easy points, this is it. Makes it too easy. Although, look how much ammo I have. Not much, and a lot on the MR6. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Right, I need to get Pat pretty quick because otherwise, this is going to be a pretty fast rip if I do say so myself. Let's get anti gravity done. There's some cheeky lads coming out of that wall. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Okay, we can teleport at least. Let's teleport and see if it's a bit calmer in front of this rocket. Imagine we go here and immediately the rocket test starts going off. I'd be like, you what? Also, I do have nades and I'm actually very curious to see what damage we can put in because there is a lot of zombies here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Crawler city. Crawler city. Here we go. Another one. Bruh, look at that. Bounce it. There we go. There's the drop. I was like, we're bound to get at least one drop from these. We'll be able to complete this round pretty quick. Oh, and a double points. Oh, and a fuse. Okay, that could give us a max ammo. And we can afford pap. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and teleport this. Because I don't want the pack a punch here. Look at this. We're so low on both pistols. But we will have enough to get the RK5. Here we go. That's the way the cookie crumbles, boys. John 1, Samantha, and Zombies RNG nil. Rick Duffin! So can we just appreciate how gorgeous the camos are on Darius and Drac? pack a punch and also how you can pack a punch from the side of it i completely forgot as well we can actually repack pistols if we wanted to and make this really really op oh man it's just too easy it's just too easy boys it is so tempting to just start stabbing when you've got that insta kill going ah uh, i need to just remember i cannot click in that right stick i can't allow it imagine if i had perkaholic on this right now it would just be i don't know it'd just be too much that any gun in bo3 can essentially be turned into something you can use for high rounds and keep buying ammo for off the wall oh my bit of a pickle boom oh what did you see that i was not red screened whatsoever that was nowhere like near to the same 
Like, the shots I did a second ago were no different in range, yet that blew my legs off and I died? Okay, let's move on to, um, yeah, a interesting map. Can't wait for spiders, boys. One thing you got to really appreciate about this map, though, is just how beautiful it is. Even though it's quite grungy and murky and dirty, it still just looks really good. And I, I don't really appreciate it enough. Like, even in the sky, I'm pretty confident you can see a mob of the dead. Like, plain Easter egg. We covered it years ago, but it's like planes that are fighting. And yeah, they just keep, like, dispersing in and out of the reality of Zetsubo, which is really, really weird and never explained, actually. It's not to my knowledge. I can't wait until we come up against our first Thrasher and get eaten by him. That'll be fun. There's the plane flying over that drops the uh, perks, right? There we go. The drop in there. Quick revive. Oh, that's pretty cool. As I'm telling you, look at this accuracy. That I'm hitting the head every single time. That's the one thing I've managed to learn a skill in this video of. But let's rinse the ML6 completely of ammo. And then we can go. Oh, huh? Why do you have a weird purple smoking on him? I think that's just a lighting glitch. That was weird. Hey, what the hell? I was like, we'll use this until we run out of ammo on it. I just remembered how monotonous this map is to get the uh, power on. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're already getting a monster on round two? Round two, round four, I'm in. Okay. I'm actually very tempted to see what happens in Solo if he eats you. I don't remember. No, if he eats you, it's bad. I'm pretty sure you, you die, so I'm not going to let that happen. Come on, Shrek. Shrek Zabo no Shima. Oh my god, what the hell? I'm out of ammo. How did this happen? Like, surely the RNG gods need to bless me with a max ammo. Come on. Normally that means cough, cough. It's going to drop, but I don't know if it is. Oh, 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 what? No! Only four rounds on Zetsubo. Ah, yeah. Where's JC backfire at? I can, I can almost sense that he's clicked to this portion of the video because we're in his home ground. One thing I've just realized that it's going to be really difficult is going to be the Valkyrie drone rounds. Like, they, they are bullet sponges. All right, lads. I know you're looking at my ammo camp right now. And I don't want you to laugh, okay? No laughing. It's not funny. It's not funny. Oh my gosh. There's actually quite a lot of zombies here for round four. I want to get to the power. Turn it on. But uh, look at this. Oh my god. Power of BO3 though. You can just finesse them like that. And it just works. Right, let's do two nades. Two nades special. You know what? Three nades special. I knew one of the cores was going to drop the goods. You could, just, you could just see it in their eyes. Let's go say hello. Let's say hello to Sophia. Now, if we do want to get ourselves Pack-A-Punch, we need to do the Dragon uh, Code Cylinders. Grab a Dr. Groff module. See where he's dropping in today. Okay. Okay, can we can we do this with the RK-5? I mean, if they're all just going to go for it, I don't, I don't want it to get destroyed. That's the only problem. Hello? Are you going to... Are you guys going to die in one, one headshot, please? Uh-oh. Open up this. I honestly think we're going to fail this. Not going to lie, boys. I think this is going to fail. Char grilled zombies. Oh, let's grab that. Let's grab that. Oh, what? Hello? Can anyone explain what happened there? I, I like, I think that the zombie exploded on fire and that instantly killed me. Why? Why am I getting so unlucky on Black Ops 3? All right, let's roll on to the final one. Revelations. I've got a lot of, lot of, lot of hope with this one. Can't wait to see my boy gobble up that Pack-A-Punch. Don't worry, mate. I'm going to be coming back. I'm grabbing that machine and I'm putting both of these pistols in that machine. Look at that. Fast mags in the RK5. We moving out here. This part of Revelation is probably the last place you'll ever use on the map. Like, no one ever goes here. Apart from getting your egg, this is the least played area of the map. Bad, I know. I know. Also, I need to start doing some of these. I've not done any of them yet. Now, normally, I just run around and I think that's what we are going to do. Since we've got an insta-kill, might as well just use it to our advantage. Now, the souls go straight in, but like, what is the point? No one ever found out if there even is a point. I don't think there is. I see quite a few zombies here. So let's just cook this. Open into Kino. Every time I make crawlers, it always guarantees me a drop. We've got like not a lot of bullets left in this thing. Down to my last 12 bullets. Oh God. Please max ammo. Then we will have a parasite round. Okay. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Come on. Oh, you can't make this up. I swear. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing anything here. 
Okay, let's go ahead and do the next one at Varuk. We're living to tell the tale. Okay, this is this is get, it's getting getting a bit dodge. There we go. And a challenge complete. I mean, hey, technically I'm still using my pistol. We can take whatever that reward was. Probably just like a max ammo or something. Okay, nade going out. See if we can end this round. At least just clean it up a little bit because we're getting low again. I'm telling you, one of these crawlers, it's gonna drop something magic. All right, we got a, we got a hammer there. That's not the sort of drop we wanted. Okay. Ammo sitch is not looking good. It's looking pretty sketchy. But as soon as I say that, look what round it is. If I can make this work. Oh my God. So I think they should be one burst each. Yeah. I don't know about, I'm not very good at doing mental maths this, this quick. But if we, oh no. I'd say if we don't miss a single shot, we could do this. We could actually do this. I don't know how many MR6 shots they take. Probably a lot. Yeah. It's like three or four. These things love to get up in your face, don't they? Can you not? Oh no. Oh no. 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 Can I do some like crazy trick shots? Grenades. Oh, okay. Okay. We've only got a few more here. Please. Oh, I timed that terribly. Two more. We've got two more throws, John. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And. No. No. All right, guys, let's roll over to the final game in this mammoth video, which is Black Ops 4 Zombies. We're going to be going non Stiletto Knife because I don't have it on PC. That's probably going to make it a little bit easier. Plus, I can't use it anyway, right? We're not kniving. So let's go. And so our Black Ops 4 journey begins, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with the Strife. I have no knife, but it's fine because it's a pistol only. I don't have high hopes for this, but Ray Fire is going to make this infinitely better. And I do have equipment. So technically, we do have a bit of leeway here. We really do. I know I have a blob skin. Can you get a pistol? That headshots with one shot on the first round. And confetti comes out their heads. When you notice just how hairy Bruno's arms are, that's actually kind of mad. Still getting them headshots on round two. You know what? I'm feeling very good about this. So if we get pack a punch open, like that's me done. I'm happy. Like, I'm super happy. And also, compared to every other zombies game where you one down, that's it. We actually have two. And I'm literally, uh, I don't do anything to even cause that. I mean, you'd be surprised. The strife is still really goddamn good. But I really need to take this effect off. It's so annoying. It's unreal how good the strife still is on round four for headshots. Like, look at this. Two shots. Of course, when in doubt, just chuck down ray fires. Okay, well, we're already sort of there. We've got the Sentinel artifact ready to go. But we can at least do one of the first bits of Pack-A-Punch. I'm actually feeling like we could genuinely do this with just the pistol. I mean, I'm pretty low on ammo. And once that's hit the lowest point, then, you know, we can't really progress any further. I guess it just goes to show you, like, how easy in a way black ops 4 is in some ways i'm going for a little swimmy swim in here if you're in doubt just chuck a ray fire always does the trick i'd love to know in the comment section what you guys think about this map do you like it do you dislike it it's like on a technical level and a graphical level this map is insane i don't even know how they managed to do this at the same time it just does not play very well i think a lot of you will agree with me here well there's a double Lovely, lovely, lovely. We're getting mad points. Okay, got to use some. Let's see what the headshot's like now. Still insane. Still like a two-shot headshot. I'm I'm so impressed. Okay, we've got the second to last pack-a-punch to do now. And then we've actually got it open. I'm not looking forward to getting out of here. This is going to be one big mess. Oh, yo, we did it. I genuinely think this could be all of round seven zombies. Just right here. Still no max ammo drop. Ray fires a genuinely one of the best grenades we've ever seen in zombies. It's a bit too OP. Oh, is this it? Is this the one? No, it's a nuke. What? What is going on here? We are a mere 500 points off getting a papped strife on voyage. And I've still not ran out of ammo. I'm nearly, but I feel like this is easy. Oh, what we getting? There it is. There's the max ammo. Okay, well now let's go ham. And we're getting strife camos and attachments left, right and center. 
can't complain, can you? It's insane how this, how even on round eight, non-papped, it's still doing stuff like that. But hey, this might be one of the only successful packer punches we've done in this entire series. There it is, Z-Harmony. I reckon we're going to be going for a real long time now. Okay, so round 10 and, uh, I mean, look at that. We're very close to having no more ammo and just Wraith fires. Might as well start throwing them down. Oh, I mean, I, I'm not complaining. I'll take that. Oh, God, here we go. A stoker. Can I kill him easily with this? I really hope so. Oh, down to my last 16 bullets. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. I'm not going to use a specialist. I'm not using specialist because I just feel like it's so cheap. Okay, my boy's going to get wrecked in the corner while I'm downed. Okay, we're still down to 16 bullets. About to get that ray fire back. Okay, there's my ray fire down there. Oh, it's not what we wanted. It's not, not max ammo. So we can't progress any further, lads. That's it. Round 11 on Voyage of Despair. Round 12. I'll take round 12. But now let's jump onto a map I feel we're going to get a lot further in potentially, which is nine since we're going to get this upgraded real quick. Yes, one of my favorite maps ever. I'm so excited to play this. All right. I'm allowed to use my knife here. That's it. I'm not using it to kill zombies. Get five consecutive headshot kills. Ah, I mean, it's very difficult. Very difficult. There's one. There's two. Three. I mean, it's too easy. It's too easy. And there we go. A third life. Because why not, right? Knife kill 13 zombies. Ah, okay. Well, we are not getting this upgraded for free. No, sorry. It's not happening today. What I will do, though, is start opening this stuff up pretty early. Use the ammo that I have. And hopefully be able to get the Pack-A-Punch open by doing these trials. Okay. Only tigers. You know what? Easy. Although, these guys mean business. Okay. That's pretty easy. Pretty simple. And these guys' heads are still popping. I just do want to make sure I'm not wasting my ammo when it comes to the more bigger things that we need to take down. Like, it's going to be a gladiator. You already know it. And there it is. What did I say? Right, here we go. Do they get hurt by wraiths? Yeah. It's going to take quite a lot beyond just wraith fires. I mean, I'll, I'll throw another one down. Surely. That's got to cook you nice and toasty. Oh, maybe not. And talk about bullet sponge. Okay, there we go. Man. That's actually puts in a really bad situation. I might have to train up in the spawn room and hope that the zombies are generous. Imagine if this map was put on Black Ops 3. I think it would be one of the greatest maps ever. Like, I just can't get over this crowd mechanic still. I just love everything about this map. It's so, so good. Let's just wipe them all out with a nade. And... No max ammo. All right, we're opening up quite a bit on this map now. And we still have 20 bullets left um i don't really know how this is gonna work literally ray fire is carrying us through these all right let's summon a champion just to see what we get i hope it's nothing nothing terrible okay yeah this is pretty bad this is pretty bad i mean we nearly got two ray fires i don't think he can get damaged by wraiths oh my god yo chill yo chill let's pop some heads come on at least I'm leveling up the strife. Oh, my Lord. Okay, down we go. Come on. That's got to damage you somewhat. Okay, insta-kill. That's looking good. We've ended the round, but we've got one of these things. I've only got two bullets. I've got to pray. I kill two zombies. They drop me something nice. Okay, tigers. Uh, okay, that's it. We've got one more wraith. And then we'll call it quits. I'm shocked how well we did on a rev, to be fair. I'm surprised how well we did on voyage, to be fair. Oh, my God. A kaboom. That's decent. What's that hit marker doing on my screen? Well... We can't really do much else, lads. So let's move on to everyone's favorite map, Blood of the Dead. Everyone's favorite map. Oh, gosh. All right. Let's see how far we do in this. What I'm really intrigued by is if we can even do the catwalk with just a pistol. Like, I'm going to try not to use any bullets. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. This is the only thing I care about. It's just surviving this. Uh, it's already looking a bit, a bit ropey. No. All right, quick. Spray, spray, spray. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Still got some time. I've still got wraiths. All right, one's dropping down now. Uh, let me go. Let me go. <laughs> this is unbelievably hard. I don't even know what's going to happen with the dog. Remember your first time going across this and just being completely overwhelmed by how difficult this was? Like you just did not expect it. Oh, here they go. Here we go. Here's the dogs. Another wraith going down. Yo, you know what? This is a bit mad. 
This is a bit mad. No. I'll let you into a little secret, guys, but I don't actually like blood. So that's uh, kind of a good thing that that happens. So we can now move on to a hot classic. This is how you do a remake, ladies and gentlemen. You don't really change it very much. And uh, it retains some of that classicness. And we have ourselves classified. Now, I'm not going to be doing a round 150 or anything like that. But the hilarious thing is that genuinely with the shield strat, I reckon if we literally did just use the pistol, we could have maybe set up for it. Don't waste any time. Let's just take the elevator straight down. I love the music in this. It's so good. It's a perfect elevator music. Also making decent progress. Decent progress. Need to get the power on. If we can get the pack-a-punch parts built and actually pat this, you know, we could be laughing. We could do a voyage all over again. Oh, what are we getting? What are we getting? Oh, things you love to see. Imagine playing a game of zombies and not spawning with your full ammo. I I, I love that Black Ops 4, even though it's not a very popular game, they, there is so many little things they've done to improve stuff, like spawning with full ammo, you know, not having to reload when you get max ammo. It all adds up. It's all like nice little quality of life changes. Okay, I Plus, I think we really, really take for granted playing as Ultimus. It's so good. And this an Alpha Omega. It just, it makes you laugh, man. At some of the stuff that they come out with. And it just feels a bit more like classic zombies. Of course, Black Ops 4 is far from it. There's a lot of things to be grateful for Black Ops 4. Four. Boom, there's the power on. Can't wait for Nova Crawlers. My faves. Oh, and we've got a dog round as well. I mean, this should be a walk in the park. If I remember correctly, one of the uh, teleporting parts is in here. Or am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. I remember there used to be a part there. I've just completely lost it. I know there's one in here. Oh, right, so what's in here? There we go. There's our first part there. Got a double points, lads. All right. I always thought there was more than one part down here. I must be losing my mind. It's been that long. I know. It's because there's a part in spawn that I forgot. I'm missing the big saucer thing. There it is. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You let me go, please. Gotta love dogs spawning just randomly in the round on round seven. Like, can you not? Go okay, time to do the classic death cons. It never gets old. I still think the concept of this map is still so cool. I can't believe this even happened as a thing. We also need to get this thing open. Isn't it mad that we only ever use this room once throughout the entire map? It's crazy. I think it's so cool that we can see all this stuff. You really forget how awesome this map is. Okay, well, let's craft a teleport signal magnifier. Teleport signal amplifier. That's what I meant. Pop all these heads. As you can see, ammo situation not looking too hot. I've got one ray fire, almost two. So we're all right on that. I could at least push one more round. Very little ammo that we have. Oh, can I jump up? What? Hello? Hello? Whoa, what? Okay, we don't question that. We don't question what happened then. I just completely overran the physics of zombies. Hit, jumped on their heads and stayed there. Okay, this should push us to enough to pat now. Max ammo? Okay, double points. Okay. I can't believe it, but we might actually... Yo, we're not at... We are... I can't believe it, lads, but we're getting pack-a-punch on classified. Look at that. Unreal. Man, if only I had a sniper so I could do the ricked off and jump scare. I can't believe that's even a thing. But imagine if they made... Uh, like a whole imagine if they made like a whole moon remake in black ops 4 i got me this does look pretty nice looks real damn nice oh my god i swear the zombies on classified are just they're just made of different stuff they just sprint so fast literally they sprint faster than anything you've ever seen look at that well we're looking in a pretty good spot right now round 10 we've got the pap strife got the nades going even got an insta kill to keep ourselves up this is a very good run i think it's only fair to play this like five. What we're going to do is just sit in this part of the map and not move. Classic zombies right here. Uh, until that happens. That's not good. All right, ray fires are going to be going out. One thing is, though, you drop a ray fire, it doesn't matter where, they are going to get hit by it. There's no doubt. Another one. Let me get a nuke. Okay, right now, no wraiths. Just have this. Oh, no. Not today. Hey, we actually got a jingle. This is why it pays to camp here. Okay, I need a wraith so bad. I need a wraith really bad. Come on. Oh, one more. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. Talk about close. No. All right. Round 12. 
Not too shabby. Let's move on to Ancient Evil. Where's Alistair Rhodes? I need to find him so we can have some tea and crumpets. Considering I'm British and we never do tea and crumpets, uh, it's quite ironic that I even made that joke. But here we are, lads. I really don't expect us to be able to do Pack-A-Punch on this map. I don't expect very much from Dead of the Night, to be honest. It is absolutely wild how many different characters are playable in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Like, you've got Chaos, you've got Primus, you've got this crew... You've got Ultimus, you've got Victus. It really has it all. And yet the game just still didn't feel enough. Also, if you're wondering why I'm unlocking so much stuff for the pistol, it's because I'm playing on my PC account, which really should have this stuff as well. That's time for me to start smashing pots, seeing which one's smoking. We can gaze into the stone. Let's see, what are we seeing? All right. It's going to be the Odin perk. Chances of us even getting to that. I would say that the cast in this map are really, really cool. I actually wouldn't mind seeing them again, especially Charles Dance. Like, you know, what happened to him in Game of Thrones? It still, it still upsets me a tiny bit. But then Game of Thrones, like, you know, what happened to that show in general upsets me. But I think it's cool that Treyarch even managed to get this to happen with this cast. It's definitely a dark horse in the zombies catalog, but a lot of people like it and... It's got a very unique charm to it. Oh, God. No, this is no. I'm just trying to shoot some heads. Kill a thousand zombies with a pistol. Hey, Lamau. All right, is this is this Odin? Oh, it is Odin. All right, I'm kind of freaked out here. These bats, you've only got 15... Well, no. 25 bullets left. I actually hate the Nosferatus. The red ones especially freak me out so much. I hate how they make your screen red. They make you feel like you're actually about to die when you're not. Okay, well, there we go, lads. We got that done. We got the tuning fork. Look how many zombies there are and how many bullets i've got i really need a miracle come on okay we've got to drop what is it oh an insta we'll take it insta kill. get them collaterals lined up oh i'm out of ammo oh all i've got is this last wraith here we go please want to use drop a max ammo make my day well lads it looks like we're gonna have to move on to the next map since i'm out of ammo i don't have enough to pap and uh yeah no ray fires in sight Hey lads, look what I've got on my pistol. I actually have a stiletto knife. Now these zombies are awake. And I love how this is all of round one, just straight away. So, boom. See you later, nerds. Somebody tells me this could be a little difficult. I, I do need to start challenges. Can I start them ASAP? I oh, know, I need the Sentinel. Of course. I actually have some attachments on this pistol. It might make it a little better. I mean, just got quick draw and extended mags. All right, I never like doing this with just shooting because it's just a waste of it's an absolute waste of time isn't it Let's see can i do this without killing any of them i might as well just shoot some they're pretty weak i feel like we get a max ammo after this it's still such a cool part of the map though and the music is so epic as well chaos will always have some amazing atmospheric music it's when there's just the zombies just keep keep coming crazy it's crazy and there the boy is the legend himself striking all the zombies down yeah, and there's the max ammo. Hell yeah, baby. Take damage and recover health. I mean, I can do that. Oh, Jesus, not that, though. I'll kill zombies with equipment. Well, ah, that is going to be very easy because I have the entire round just spawned in here. And I have two ray fires. Right, here goes nothing. Here we go. We've already got a legendary reward and we've only done two challenges. This would be a, a really good Easter egg run. I was actually doing it. I hate the skelly boys. You just come out of nowhere and scare the heck out of you. Okay, well, we can grab one more. I don't know if we need a legendary or a epic to get a, like, pistol. Okay, this is going to be very awkward. Unless I get another ray fire, which should be very soon. This is actually going to be really difficult. Okay, we've got a wraith. We've got a wraith. Oh, a nuke. I mean, as long as we're holding position here, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we're not killing. Come on, let's get that epic. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes. We've got an epic reward. Okay, what is it? Oh, we've got a perk. I mean, hey, I'm not buying perks in this. But if I can get a free perk, I'll take it. It's actually pretty bad. I just wanted a pat pistol. Oh, there is the max ammo we were looking for. Not even like I really need it. Boom, there we go. Genuinely, I could get Pack a Punch open. This is a this is mad. Let's go look and get that golden bridle. I'm a little nervous about this because I don't know how I can take this boy out with just pistol. We'll give it a go. I don't know if a Wraith actually hurts him or not. I'm just gonna take a lot of ammo. Possibly all of it. Die already! Okay. 
Okay, we are now bulletless. And I have one, maybe two ray fires at most. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to chuck one right below him and pray that that cooks him. Come on, man. Okay, no, we're going down. But maybe this could be what we need to take him out. Please, please. Oh, it was. Okay, sweet. I am ready to make amends for and I love how he drops the shield piece. But we can now ride Pegasus over to that next part and we could potentially get Pap open. There we go. Look at the boy. What a lad. Okay, so I need my specialist. I'm not going to kill any zombies with it, but I do need my specialist in order to do both of these, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Yes, I'm not killing any zombies with this. I'm just using it. Just to open that. I don't know if we can actually do this one. Oh, we're not going to make it in time. No! I have no ammo. I have no wraiths. We're going to have to call it a rip. No! Round 9 on Engine Evil. Let's jump to Alpha Omega. I really like Alpha Omega. I don't know why it gets so much slack. It's it's a pretty good map, you know. I get to play as Ultimus Dempsey. You can't go wrong, lads. Obviously, the idea, just like with all the others, is we're going to try and get Pap on, which actually isn't too difficult. It's also mad how there's like two color tones to this map. You've got what it looks like now. to this, which looks so colorful. It's unbelievable. And you've got to get some dogs. But I've only got two clips left. Worries me about this already and we've got to be able to afford to get down to the power room and do that lockdown with barely any ammo oh what do we get in what do we get in? a double points all right okay i've just got a hope this next round with my ray fires and a double points that we get the max and we also get enough to start the power here we go is this it is this it oh, that's an insta kill i mean i'll take it i've definitely got the points now to be able to get power but this is looking pretty low this is looking low only 14 shots okay i ain't gonna lie chief I'm actually a little nervous about this. I'm nervous. A whole minute in here with 14 bullets. Normally what I do is I just train in here. That's all I do is I just train, train, train. I never like the different crawlers in this map. They freak me out. But we're doing all right so far considering. Okay, 14 bullets in a dream. We are done. And these guys are so quick. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let's go, baby. And we got the insta-kill. And now it's just a case of uh, getting the ventilation systems going again, which is a very tricky process in itself because zombies just have no chill. I mean, we are going to get another max ammo from this, so I might as well just try my best to repair these. Okay, we got that one done. That's pretty good. Why are the, why are the dogs? Stop spawning. Let's chuck down another. We've got that sorted out. I genuinely... I've finished the dog round. I'm pretty sure. I don't get why there's so many dogs. Whoa. Relax, relax, relax. The round's ended and I didn't get max ammo. I got baited. Okay. So Pack-A-Punch is now available. But look at my ammo situation. It's not looking great. My ray fire is not quite here yet. Although I should get it any moment. This double points is definitely doing bits. Oh god. Okay, out of ammo. We've got this ray fire coming in now. All right, please, please hook your boy up. Zombies, I need this. But we can pack a punch as well. Two Nikolais, two tacks, two sauerkrauts. I'm getting too old for this shit. Oh man, look how beautiful this is. I hate these gas zombies so much in this. Why do you have to be so fast and aggressive? I want to be super cheap. I think I've already messed this up, but... I know this is one of the places you camp to do high rounds with the ballistic knife. Definitely not set it up properly for it, but would be funny, right? Would be funny. Oh, Lord. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Ray fire, ray fire, ray fire. Ah, I was just trying to do a strat. Okay, we've got a drop there. I heard another drop somewhere. Oh, that's just the shed changing its drop. But hey, this is looking all right. We are nearly at the end of our ammo, though, which is shocking considering as soon as this becomes fully auto you don't realize how much ammo you're really using okay, eight bullets eight bullets in a dream we do have the max ammo though you get it if we really need to oh, i left it too long the max ammo is now turned into a different drop oh lads is this gonna be it is this gonna be the end come on it is the end my friends it is the end it's time to go on to the final map in this video Oh, I'm feeling emotional. Oh, this is the end, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe we've gotten here. This this video has felt like it's taken literal weeks to make, and it genuinely has. Recording each game takes about two hours. 
you would not think it, but due to just how long we might end up on some maps and how short on others, it's been a real process. It really has, but hopefully we can go out with a bang on Targda Toten. What a gorgeous map this is as well. Holy. Definitely been for a lot in this. So, like, you've seen me get the stiletto knife. Like, I've really wanted that on PC, and we've finally gotten it. Genuinely, if I didn't do this video, I don't think I'd have it, because I don't use the strife enough. We've got two clips left, and I have practically two ray fires for us to get power on and then get pack a punch can we do it lads oh drop what's it gonna be oh more points i mean go for it go on then yeah, well i've only got 14 bullets and two ray fires i mean we've had worse situations okay we got an insta kill it's okay i'm gonna make every bullet count he says as he wastes two right there and then i'm gonna at least try and get the rock and bring it up to him if we can okay five bullets one ray fire i don't want to waste one ray fire and just two zombies to end the round oh oh ah no man i have five bullets and only one ray fire i don't think my chances of survival are very high here lads final ray fire come on Deliver the goods. Anything? Doesn't look like we're going to get a max ammo, lads. That's going to round it up. What an epically long YouTube video it's been. If you've watched it in parts, if you've watched the whole thing in one sitting, if it's taken you like eight different attempts to finish this, I appreciate you so, so much. If you're new here, please feel free to subscribe, turn on the bell. If you appreciate how long I've spent making this video for you guys, a like would be super appreciated. If you have any other ideas on all map videos you want to see, please drop them down below. I'm going to go edit this now. I love you guys. Thank you for watching.